In a 12-page tentative decision, Judge Mitchell Beckoff said the suit was quote unpersuasive and undermined by the substantial evidence presented by the Coastal Commission. The suit was brought forth by the Delmar Bay's Samuel Lawrence Foundation. It argued the commission quote abused its discretion when it allowed Southern California Edison's to take the plant apart. The nuclear plant was closed in 2012. Chelsea Sparty is Samuel Lawrence Foundation's associate director. This isn't over. The judge took our points under submission, and the case is ongoing. She says the group wants to make sure it's done in a way that protects coastal resources and the public. In a statement, Coastal Commission spokesperson Nuaki Schwartz says the commission does not have jurisdiction to regulate this federal issue, however, and agrees with the court's tentative ruling. The suit centers on the wet storage pool used to cool radioactive fuel rods. Southern California Edison, the plant's owners, says the pool is no longer needed because the spent fuel rods are now in dry storage. But the Samuel Lawrence Foundation says the pool is needed in case the dry storage canisters break. In a statement, SoCal Edison John Dobkin says, "The dismantlement of San Onofre Nuclear Generation Station continues to progress in a safe and timely manner. We look forward to the court's final ruling on this matter." Dobkin says the commission made the right decision when it allowed the plant to be torn down. The judge now has 60 to 90 days to issue a final ruling. Alexander Wen, KPBS News.